Hi, we're gonna sneak into Greg's office and see what he's really up to when he's not at conference. Come on. What are you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Can we ask you a couple questions? Sure, let me just finish this chapter. Oh, yeah, he's hard at work. <laughs> how can I help you, Jen? Whoa, we nice got a to couple see questions. You. Nice to see you, too. You're extremely tall. I know. Or I'm short. <laughs> Have a seat. Like, couple inches, help. Cool. Okay, so you know I'm from Missouri, so I have to ask. Yes. What's the oddest thing that you've seen, heard, or eaten in Missouri? Seen, uh, heard, or eaten. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Well, I've seen you. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Love you too, no. Greg. <laughs> um, let's see. You know, all, the, the memory I have is the Bass Pro Shop. And Springfield, was, and it's not odd. It's just that we're at the Bass Pro Shop doing sure. a youth theater lunch. Oh, that's kind of a staple. So yeah, I, I mean, it's cool. We have a Bass Pro Shop out here, but I was yeah. like, we're doing a youth theater training in the Bass Pro Shop, which is just kind of the coolest thing <laughs> on the planet. It's not odd. It's just kind of cool. Oh. It's cool in an odd way. It's odd in a cool way. Yeah, I and mean, not being from Springfield, I can see where that could be. Yeah, I'm like, hey, we're in a Bass Pro Shop right. talking about the advancement <laughs> of the kingdom of Christ and eating food. Oh, well, very cool. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, okay, so for St. Louis Conference, what's your favorite part about the students in St. Louis? Uh, you know, I tell you, you know what's really cool about St. Louis is we have been, we started in St. Louis like 11 or 12 years ago. That's a long time. With 241 teenagers. Oh, wow. And it was at North County Community Church. Okay. Um, and we began to grow. And so now we have students former students who are now youth leaders yeah. who were teenagers in North <laughs> County and uh, sure. the other years to follow. So it's just a, there's a, what's really cool about St. Louis is there's just an extreme sense of family, unity, and we know each other. I mean, it's yeah. been, it feels like home. Yeah. I mean, as I, a youth leader, I think that's a little before me, yeah. but I mean, I even was a student, so I think, yeah, you're yeah. an example, yeah, yeah, student to youth leader now to dare to share your sure. place. So now you know your career path. Yeah. That's exactly, <laughs> you will be working at some point in your life. <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, I just I just I love it, and and it's uh it's at the Chafetz Arena. I I, I know I probably mispronounced. I always pray Chafetz 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 <laughs> Arena. You know um, what he means. <laughs> yeah, but uh, awesome. It's just it's just a, and it's the coolest arena that we have, and it's an awesome arena, and it's full of teenagers and youth leaders. So it's I love fun. it. Love it. Yeah. Cool. Well, okay. So since we've been in St. Louis so long, yep. What is a new challenge that you can give the students for this year? Something new. Yeah. <laughs> I would give the challenge to students and youth leaders uh, to train this stuff. Don't just share your faith. Train others to share their faith. Train others to multiply the cause. Go to different youth groups. Matter of fact, this summer, we're doing Lead the Cause University. So if you've been to Dare to Share, if you're going to Dare to Share, go to Lead the Cause University this summer uh, after Dare to Share in, when is it Dare to Share in St. Louis? What's the date? Uh, March 16th and 17th. March 16th and 17th. And then June 17th to the 23rd, Lead the Cause University. It's going to rock out. So go there and then go there. And start training and multiplying others to lead and live the cause. Be awesome. And tell other youth theater friends about it. We want to get as many youth theaters out as, and students out yeah. as possible. That's a pretty good challenge. Yeah. Okay, so last question. Yes. Biggest question. Yes. Um, why Dare to Share? Like, what's the big deal? Like, you know, we've got all these other things. Why? Like, what's the big deal about Dare to Share? You know what? We. That's a great question. We have, I don't think there's any other event like Dare to Share. No, not that we're better or worse than anybody, but it's just a different event. It's a training and equipping event. It's not a I love Jesus, how about you pep rally. <laughs> we train students to share their faith. We actually share their, they actually share their faith that weekend. Uh, it really accelerates the discipleship process. Um, I have to travel a lot, you know, yeah, and I have to say goodbye <laughs> to my wife and kids a lot. I would not do that just to do a conference. Sure. But for a training and equipping event, you know, sure. I was telling my kids the other day, I said, you know, um, Daddy's got to go, but you know what he's going to do. And they're like, train students to share their faith. <laughs> hey, at least they like, got it. I go, is it worth it? And they're like, yeah, it's worth it. Cool. It's all, to me, it's only worth it if we're mobilizing a generation for the cause. That's that's mm -hmm. why they should consider Dare to Share. That's why I do Dare to Share. That's why you're here. Yeah, it's true. All right. That's why I'm here. Viva cool. the cause. Yeah, well, that's what I had. So thanks for Thank visiting you. with me. Awesome. I wish I was taller. I know, right? See ya. So you've heard it for yourselves. you got to be there. It's going to be a big deal. Game day. March 16th, 17th, St. Louis. Be there. What she said. Go. What are you waiting for? <laughs>